Seven sexy as hell foreplay tips for women. That's what I discussed in the last video and you guys loved it so much. You said, give me more of those. I love those tips. So today I'm going to share with you another seven foreplay tips that men absolutely froth for that you can use to build him up right throughout the day, way before the main event occurs. These are lots and lots of fun. Before we get into them, I did just want to mention my book. It's been online a little while now and it's getting fantastic reviews on Amazon, which I'm so, so grateful for. So thank you for leaving those reviews. If you have read it, really enjoyed it and haven't left a review yet, go leave one. Uh, but those are all there. They're, the book is available now and the reviews. Wanted to say a shout out and say thank you for those. And very exciting, the audiobook version is now available. So I took 15, 20 hours in a studio. Don't worry, the book is not that long, but that's how long I took in the studio and recorded the whole book. So if you're an Audible person like me, you can now get the book on Audible as well. Check the link in the description. All right, seven sexy foreplay tips for you ladies. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button with the little bell so you'll subscribe for more videos and let's get into these tips. Number one. Okay, this is one of my favorites. It takes a little bit of confidence but it is just so good as a guy, okay? Just give the guy the gift of just doing this at least once. Wait until a random time throughout the day, maybe he's working at his desk or he's reading a book or he's listening to some music or something. Pick a random time where he's not expecting it and just start touching yourself. Make the noises, get into it. It could even be a time where he's like, oh babe, I'm kind of tired. And you go, okay, well, I'm just gonna enjoy myself right here. Just do this in front of him. Men are turned on by fast sexuality. It's part of their biology. I spoke about this in the last video and you can take advantage of this in your foreplay tips for a man. So don't be afraid to just, just launch into it, whatever he's up to, wherever he's at, Start enjoying yourself, make the noises, the guy is going to froth for it. Number two, a classic, and it's so effective, you gotta do this one, blindfold him. Put the blindfold on him. Men can get so lost in future thinking, they can get so lost even in visual, that sometimes it's really nice to slow things down for him, put a blindfold on him, and take charge a little bit, right? Let him touch certain things, don't let him touch others, let him be a bit unknown, a bit surprised, doesn't really know what you're doing, get him in a chair, you know, just enjoy the blindfold. Everything goes after that. Do whatever you like. He's going to love it, right? It takes him out of his head, gets him into his senses, put a blindfold on him. It is a great foreplay tip for a woman. Number three, if you really want to add to it even further, you can do this with the blindfold. Get your confidence up. Give him a lingerie lap dance. It's just such a gift right? A man's going to love it. Put him in a chair. Again, maybe you blindfold him, maybe you don't. Do a few dance moves, a couple of spins. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all, but just own it. Own your own sexuality and show it off in front of him. Your man is going to love it, I promise you. Little strip tease. Do that for him. He's going to have an experience to remember with you. Number four, sexting, sexting what you're fantasizing about, sexting what you want him to do, again, at random intervals throughout the day. It works best when he's least expecting it. Those are the times where you can just randomly, again, he could be at work, he could be with his family, he could be with his mom, like he could do it any random time. Men are very aroused by sudden and random sexuality, and they're especially aroused by the idea that they turn you on. So let him know. When you're not with him, shoot him a text out of the blue that says how much you want him, that tells him exactly what you're fantasizing about. Be literal. There's a table here, I want you too. There's a mirror here I'm thinking about. Right, be literal, send him the text. He is going to love it. Number five, what do we know about men? What do we know about where they get their self-esteem from, where they get their value from, what makes a man a man? Know what I'm saying? Compliment it. Compliment his cock, right? A man wants you to, that's what makes him a man. And the more you compliment it, the more you appreciate him for it, it has to be genuine, but the more you just do that, the more you say nice things about it, how much you love it, that is praise that you can never give too much of to a man. Number six, use cheeky rewards. Right, in the last video, we spoke about how randomly going down there at random times when he can't reciprocate is a lot of fun. For example, times when he's at work, when you're with his family, when he's doing something that he can't be distracted from, you just giving it a rub down there, you getting in there, you having some fun down there, that's a great thing to be doing. But another time you can use those random grabs or random rubs 
<laughs> it sounds bad, but you can train him the same way you train a dog. I'm saying it because it's kind of true, but when he does stuff that you appreciate, instead of saying you appreciate him, which is great as well, but you can also get in down there, right? So he's cleaning the house. He's doing the dishes. He's putting the kids to bed. He's doing something to help you out. Give him that appreciation down there physically. He's going to remember how much you appreciate that and he's going to want to do it more. Best of both worlds. You guys work better together and you have an even better sex life. Number seven is a little bit of an advanced one, but it's a lot of fun. And when I've done this, or had this done to me, had a woman do this to me, whoo, it's awesome. So what you do is you're at home one time. You can do it out and about as well, actually, but it's really fun to do at home. And say you're in the kitchen, he's in the living room. You're not physically in the same room together. You walk out and you say to him, who are you? And he's like, what? And you go, who are you? And what are you doing in this house? Right, so you get your sexy on a little bit. And he says, babe, what are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? And then you go, look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but my boyfriend's gonna be home soon. And I cannot have sexy men go for a grab. I cannot have sexy men around my house when my boyfriend gets home, right? And at this stage, he's probably gonna click and he's gonna get it. He's gonna be like, oh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say to that. And you go, keep getting in there, right? And you go, look, again, I just cannot have sexy men in this house when my boyfriend could be home soon, right? So you keep playing that role. You're playing the stranger role. And the stranger role is exciting because again, it creates mystery, it creates unknown, and it's a fantasy that he wouldn't have been expecting at all. You were just in the kitchen. He's like, who's this woman? She's just come out of the kitchen. What's happening here? But because it's unexpected, because it's sexy, because it's cheeky, because it plays on all those mystery, uncertainty pieces that create tension and sexual attraction, it really works. So this is a really fun one. Surprise your boyfriend with it. Practice staying in character, right? And as you do it, he's gonna be like, wow, that was incredible. The longer you stay in character, by the way, the better it is. So have some fun with that random, random stranger role play. Straight out of your kitchen, out of your living room. Dude's gonna love it. What are your favorites? I'd love to hear. Post them in the comment section below, whether it's one you heard in this video or one that you've used yourself. Maybe even what's your favorite foreplay tip that you've had from a man? What's a man done for you? I'd love to hear that and I could register all your answers. We could do those in a video. So pop them in the space below. I'd love to hear them.